Loyalty is no longer my determining factor for love. I choose this instead. Let's get into it. There's another value that I rank higher than loyalty now, and that's commitment. Yup, commitment. I'm not saying loyalty is no longer um, a priority for me or um, that it's not important to me, but it's no longer the determining factor or the highest priority for me when it comes to measuring the manifestation of love. I know you may be saying, Tiffany, what is the difference between loyalty and commitment? So I'm going to share with you some definitions. The definition of loyalty is a strong feeling of support or allegiance, a faithfulness to obligations. However, commitment is the state or quality of being dedicated, an agreement or a promise. Stay with me now because the difference is slight, but the impact in my opinion is huge. Loyalty carries a slight sense of demand to it. If someone is loyal to you, they, they sense that they're, or they feel they're obligated to you, or they feel they strongly have to support you. But on the other hand, commitment has a tone of choice. I choose to be dedicated to you. There were other options and out of those options, I chose you and I chose to commit to you. When someone is loyal to you without being committed to you, they can feel like they're under like a slight yoke. And if anytime they wanna break free or they feel like that loyalty has become too heavy for them or that loyalty is a burden, they're gonna break out, they're gonna break free. Or if they have a reason for why they're being loyal to you and that reason is removed from their lives or your life, then again, they're going to break free. However, commitment is careful consideration. I thought about this and when I considered all my options, there was a choice and my choice was you. So I'm making a promise to be dedicated. I'm coming into agreement to be dedicated to you or with you. So here are my five wisdom thoughts on why I prioritize commitment over loyalty now. One, commitment means your choice. When someone commits to you or a cause, they choose you out of all the other options they may have. Someone can be loyal to you just because they don't have any other options. There's a difference. Commitment gives the tone of there were options and I chose you. Loyalty could just mean there were no other options. Commitment can breed loyalty, but loyalty can't necessarily breed commitment. So I choose to just start on the higher vibration. If you start off with loyalty, you may never get commitment. But if you start with commitment, loyalty will flow in with that. Three, there's a level of maturity a person must have to understand their own heart and to commit to someone. You don't necessarily need that level of maturity to feel obligated to someone, but to actually commit to them or agree to be dedicated to them, it takes some level of knowing yourself, considering what you can do, what you can't do, and then making an empowered choice and wise decision. And so that's important for me, for someone to understand their heart, be spiritually aligned. And I think those are um, characteristics that demonstrate um, a mature heart. Four, commitment feels like it comes with confidence, but fear can be present with loyalty sometimes. There's a knowing that comes with the commitment because of the fact that you have to have consideration and not just blind obligation. And five, and probably my most favorite, kindness. Commitment has a sense of kindness to it, and loyalty can sometimes seem a little dogmatic. And in this era of my life, kindness is king. What about you all? What are some characteristics or values that are a determining factor or measure of love for you? Drop it in the comments and let me know. I'll respond or I'll make a video response to If you enjoyed this broadcast today, please consider subscribing and liking. And if you think someone else, this message will help someone else, please share it with them. Until next week, continue to grow in your authentic power and be blessed.